We're here today to announce that I'm filing a lawsuit today in federal court against President Trump, the Federal Department of Homeland Security, and high-ranking Trump administration officials. This lawsuit is different uh, and broader in scope. It seeks to have key provisions of that executive order declared illegal and unconstitutional. In other words, if successful, this would have the effect of invalidating the president's unlawful action nationwide. We are a country based on the rule of law. And in a courtroom, it is not the loudest voice that prevails. It's the Constitution. That's why we're a nation of laws. Uh, at the end of the day, either you are abiding by the Constitution or you are not. And in our view, uh, the president is not adhering to the Constitution when it comes to his executive action. This is not a reality TV show. This is reality. And the real human suffering that has been caused by this train wreck does not allow me to agree with the president to say that this is just a nice, beautiful thing. It is an insult and a danger to all of the people of the state of Washington, of all faiths, for a variety of reasons. Number one, an attack on any faith is an attack on all faiths. Number two, this is damage to the economy of the state of Washington. I would say this to President Trump as a fellow who is in the, the uh, chain of command for our National Guard, stop giving ISIS recruiting posters. And that's what this executive order is.